Hello, good afternoon. Uh, Kevin here, back with bringing you another video on Windows 7. Um, if you saw my other videos, I talk about installing Windows 7, um, optimizing Windows 7. So now that you have Windows 7 installed on the computer, and and you want you want to, as a technician, you want to be familiar with the tools that come with Windows 7, and you want to know how to troubleshoot Windows 7 if it's having a, an issue with a software or if it's a hardware issue and things like that. So Windows 7 has, has built-in programs that you could use to troubleshoot it. So for today, we're going to look at troubleshooting Windows 7, troubleshooting tools. We're going to look at safe mode. We're going to look at system restore. We're going to look at repair my computer. We're going to look at blue screens. And we're going to look at um, professionalism with customers, basically customer service. How you will handle a situation if a customer is having an issue with their computer. So we have safe mode. To get into safe mode, you simply press F8 on your keyboard when your computer turns on. And basically, when you press F8, you will have the screen that says safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode with command prompt. And you also have this option up here to repair your computer. And basically, you could go to last known configuration. Or you could disable automatic restart on system failure. And basically, if you have a virus on your computer and you know you have a virus on your computer, I would recommend pressing F8, going into safe mode, uh, using your uh, software program like uh, Malwarebytes, McAfee, Kaprisky, or whatever software program you have, run a system scan, remove the virus, and then boot up back to the regular screen. And safe mode basically allows you to load Windows but just the necessary drivers, the necessary programs that come with Windows 7. It looks a little bit different, but safe mode is necessary if you're trying to remove a program, you're trying to remove adware, you're trying to remove malware, trojans, spyware, because those things will not, will not show up if you're trying to go into safe mode. So you can easily remove it by going into safe mode. Now we have system restore. So system restore basically is uh, helps helps and fixes problems that might make your computer run slow slowly or, or stop responding. So basically, in, in system restore, you can go back on another date. It's like basically going back in time, and you can go to another day that that you had your computer running was running perfectly fine. But understand that this doesn't affect your documents, your pictures, or other personal data if you're if you're trying to go back in time. So that's what system restore is. We also have system recovery options, which you could find by going by, by uh, typing in or pressing F8 and going to repair your computer. And you'll have this list of things where you could do a startup repair if your uh, computer is not starting up normally, like it's supposed to start up. You could do a system restore here. You could get an image of a backup file of an image that you created earlier on your computer that you backed up on a flash drive or a CD or DVD. And you could actually um, run the image on the computer to re-image the computer. You could also do uh, Windows Memory Diagnostic, which basically checks the memory if you have issues with your memory on your computer. You could also use the command prompt in the system recovery options. Now that we talked about this, we're going to talk about uh, Blue Screen of Death. So the Blue Screen of Death usually is associated with black, with uh, excuse me with bad hard drives. Um, you have bad memory. You recently added software, you, did a, you have a virus or you have malware. You want to take a screenshot and write down the stop number. If you're, sure, if you're not sure what the problem or the issue is, just write down the stop number on it. And in order for you to, in order for you to see what blue screen you're getting and it keeps restarting, you can't get it to stop, you simply go into safe mode and you disable automatic restart and system failure by pressing F8. And you press enter on this on disable automatic restart and system failure. And then basically what it does, it freezes the screen. You get to see what issue you're having, what problem you're having. Usually when you have an issue like the blue screen of death, it usually tells you what exactly the problem is. Is you it says you're checked to make sure any new hardware or software is properly in store, installed. If this is a new installation, ask your hardware or software manufacturer for any Windows updates you might need. So now that we talked about blue screens of death, we're going to talk about um,
customer service. So an IT professional, as an IT professional, you should never blame the user. You provide excellent cu customer service. You you try to ask questions. When was the last time the computer was working? Did the user make any? Did the user made any update or install new software? Be empathetic to the customer. Understand that the customer is frustrated because their computer is not working, and they're not happy, and they're trying to get something to print or something to be done online. Try to put yourself in in their shoes. Understand that the customer is not happy, and something that it normally works isn't working, and they call you up to do it. So try to put yourself in their shoes. And for some, if for some reason they have a document, they have an important document that the user really needs, um, just simply print it out for them. Go on, on your computer and print out the paper and hand it directly to them. If it's a CEO or a lawyer or a principal or an executive, just print out the paper and just hand it to them. And obviously on the, on the, on the technical side, document and take notes. Take any notes or any changes that happen on that particular computer. And now that we now that we finish with that, I'm actually going to create a blue screen of dev on a virtual machine. So I'm going to right click here, start task manager. So we can have a look at safe mode. And to show processes there we go so now I have a blue screen of death on my computer I just simply erased the file that was from Windows 7 now that now that um I want to uh, now that I see the blue screen I want to troubleshoot it so I'm going to reopen this I'm going into safe mode now depends what kind of blue screen you have you have a blue screen with, with um, a recently added software then you might, might go into safe mode and just remove the software that you have if your computer is um, if your computer is restarting over and over again, and you could get it, you could get into you could get into safe mode perfectly fine. Then there's a program that is messing up your Windows files. But if you could get in, if you could get into Windows 7, and you're still getting a blue screen of death for some reason, then it's probably a memory issue or a hardware issue where your hard drive, if your computer keeps restarting over and over again, that's either a memory issue or a hard drive issue. So basically you take whatever you see on your on your computer, whatever issues you're having, and you do a process of elimination. And then after that, you could take notes or if you don't want to take notes, it's up to you. And then you write down what what uh what issues you saw, what issues you had and what did you do to resolve it. In some cases, some technicians, what they would do, they would um, they would uh, duplicate the issue. They would create the same issue on another computer to see if they get the same results. And then, based on the issue that they created, they will they will do they will try to resolve it because they already duplicated the the problem. They know what the problem is now because they duplicated it and they tried to resolve it and fix it right there and then. So I just wanted to show you like what the blue screen of death looks like. Um, I did it on, on this computer. I went to safe mode, press F8, and um, that's pretty much it. That concludes my um, presentation. If you have any questions or comments, um, rate, comment, subscribe. Please let me know. And happy Thursday, and I hope you have a good day. Take care. Bye now.